What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. We have crowned a new Wimbledon queen. Capitalizing on her opportunity, current world number eight, Petra Kvitova utilized her all-around attacking style to frustrate Maria Sharapova in a 6-3, 6-4 victory for the first major of her career. Sharapova struggling to hold serve, uncertainty in her serve proved to crumble Sharapova as she hit the last of her six double faults in the process of dropping serve for the fifth time to go down 3-4. This was all the advantage Kvitova needed as she dictated play in the last three games. Despite serving at 76% and missing only seven first serves in the opening set, four double faults including back-to-back -back at 30-30 in the sixth game proved to be enough for Kvitova. Kvitova served out easily, sealing the match with an ace at 40-0. She is the first Czech player to win Wimbledon since Jana Novotna 13 years ago. She sank to her knees and waved to supporter and idol Martina Navratilova, a fellow lefty. Kvitova soon lifted the rosewater dish from His Royal Highness the Duke of Kent, and she said overjoyed and in shock, it's hard to find the words. Of course I was nervous, but I focused on each point. I think it's the best match I've ever played, and I'm ready for my lap of honor." Sharapova commented on her opponent, saying, "...she has tremendous amount of potential to go even further and achieve many great things. If she keeps playing like that and keeps her level up, absolutely. She has the great game for it. She'll rise to number 7 in the rankings on Monday." World number one in doubles, Bob and Mike Ryan won the Wimbledon doubles title for the second time since 2006, defeating Robert Lindstedt of Sweden and Oria Dekau of Romania 6-3-6-4-7-6 on Saturday. This marks their 11th Grand Slam title together, equaling the open-air record of Mark Woodford and Todd Woodbridge. The Bryans only hit six aces and 14 winners, but strong first serve took out the eighth seeds, who have 18 aces and 26 winners. The American Twins did not face a single break point during the match. As for the ladies, second seeds Kaveta Peške of Czech Republic and Katarina Srebotnik of Slovenia won their first Wimbledon and Grand Slam title after feeding Sabina Lisicki and Samantha Stoser 6-3, 6-1. After those two entered their first final as a team in beating Mariana Arakovic and Tamarine Tanasugarn earlier this morning. As for the men playing on Sunday, Novak Djokovic's semifinal win over Joe Wilfred Songa on Friday ensured that the Serb will be crowned the new world number one when the new ATP rankings come out on Monday. But Rafael Nadal, who had held the top spot for 56 consecutive weeks, still has a chance to claim the ultimate prize, a Wimbledon title, the day before his final opponent unseats him. Although his role atop the rankings has been relinquished, you can't forget that Nadal is still the defending champion and he will be playing in his fifth Wimbledon final, two of which he has already won. It will be Djokovic's first time playing in a Wimbledon final as he tries to grab the first Grand Slam other than the Australian Open, which he has won twice. Well, that wraps us up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel, clicking that button right up there, and also make sure to tune into Tennis Now tomorrow for the live scores and the analysis of that final match that we're all looking forward to and some of the junior results. I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching. See you soon.